How's it going, YouTube? I actually forgot, didn't forget to bring my coffee out this time. And uh, today on Sapper Updates, we got a couple things, a couple things to talk about. Um, I'm officially a, uh, like, officially employed now by the cigar shop. Uh, I actually get paid for my training stuff today. It's not much, but it's enough to pay for a handful of uh, pretty good cigars, considering it's only like six hours of work plus tips, or like, you know, five, six hours of work. That and uh, tomorrow, um, hopefully, it depends on uh, some other people, I'll be going to a winery to sell cigars to uh, wine people. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. <laughs> people who drink wine. It's, a, it's their, uh, the winery's grand opening, and I guess they knew our uh, owner, and... Uh, they wanted a cigar booth there for people to uh, smoke outside, buy some cigars and do that. And I got asked if I wanted to do it. And uh, I was like, heck yeah, sign me up. And so we just need a second person to do it uh, as well. So I'm hoping that the other guy that they had in mind or if uh, one of the other guys can do it because that'll be a lot of fun. It's only three hours. And it's basically, we can choose what three hours we go. The winery's event is from like two to eight, but we can do like three to six, two to six, four to seven, um, but probably three to six, because if you do it at two to, two to five, uh, like that's when they're just opening, there's not gonna be as many people there, but from three to six, there'll be a lot of people there. Uh, so that's a big step in my PTSD journey, selling to people I don't know. Before in the shop, I mean, I was comfortable in the shop and I can sell stuff in there. So, big step. And uh, hopefully... I get to uh, do it because it sounds like a lot of fun and I uh, might get some free wine out of it. You know, you never know. But uh, I already mentioned it, but my first paycheck, not from the government in eight years. Sweet. And this is news, this is kind of bad news. My uh, parents are coming back from their trip to Mayo, the Mayo Clinic and to Arizona in general for like a mini vacation. Unfortunately, the Mayo Clinic wasn't able to do anything for my mom surgically. So they're gonna be setting her up with uh, pain management and hopefully they can do something that way other than give opioids. Because my mom doesn't want to go on opioids. She doesn't want to get addicted to opioids for the rest of her life. And because this is going to be something that she has to deal with the rest of her life. But they're looking to get a Roomba. So that way uh, they don't have to uh, vacuum. And so on Saturdays it's a little bit less uh, stress. My dad isn't so keen on the Roomba idea. He, he, he's just like, if I see a little robot running around, I'm going to kick it. But he probably just saying that because it'll keep the house cleaner and uh, it's very convenient. Um, especially, like, I run mine every day and it keeps the cat hair down so much. 
Like, you don't, except for in the no-go zones, there's like, you don't even know that there's a cat in the apartment. What's the no-go zones are very few and far between, mainly uh, by my computer desk where all the wires are hanging off the uh, table and going to the wall or to the outlets. But that's unfortunate for my mother. Uh, continued prayers for her would be appreciated or good vibe sent her way. I'm still dealing with my throwing up at night problem. So I've got to, uh, it's, it's Friday, so I got to call the VA and let them know this, but I won't be able to get seen anytime soon, probably. But, uh, there's, there's something going on that, uh, like... The medication they put me on just isn't seem to be working. Oh, hello, Foxy. You hanging around? Oh, other Foxy. All the Foxies are out. We have, oh, and a thir another one. And yeah, just hanging out by the rocks. We have like a pack of six to seven Foxes that live in our backyard. And they're so cute. They just sit there like cats or they're, they're sprawled out. They're, they're basically like our outdoor cats. Um, but uh, let's see. Is there anything else that's on my mind? Oh yeah, Astros lost in dramatic or less than dramatic fashion yesterday with a single home run scoring for the Cincinnati Reds and no, that was it. That was the only score of the game. So, but that's it for Sapper Updates. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.